Ali here with Signal Sounds and this week I've been exploring the oscillator from Apollo View. The oscillator is an all analog oscillator with several different wave shape outputs, eight in total. It has three different flavors of sub oscillator, it has several sound sculpting inputs and it can even act as an LFO. And all this means that not only is it a great sounding analog oscillator, but it also can be patched in really interesting ways. And that's what I'd like to focus on in today's video. In this opening patch, I'm taking advantage of the individual outs to process them in different ways. So the sub oscillator is going into the, the UVCF filter here. And from there into the intro carn and it's been panned directly up the center. Whereas these two outputs, the square sign and PWM saw output are going into a low pass gate here, which is being triggered from a sample and hold gate from PAMS. And from there into the instro carn and panned hard left and right. And the, the low pass gate gives it a really nice percussive sound whilst the sub bass is allowed to kind of sit in the background. And this is the kind of anchor of the sound especially when you start throwing some FM into the mix. I have channel one of maths here cycling at audio rate and going into the exponential FM input. And when I attenuate that, I can get a lot more percussive sounding. And hopefully the sub bass with the high end rolled off will help to sort of anchor this, this uh, sound as far as having a key signature goes. <laughs> So yeah, let's check out some other ways that we can patch up the oscillator. So I created this pad effect using the pulse width and the PWM saw. So we kind of have two flavors of pulse width modulation here and I have them panned left and right. Can bring in some Vibrato using the linear FM. And then I have the sub oscillator set to two octaves below. And 
then sometimes I was bringing in beads just because it really excels at these sort of sounds. Similar to the first patch, I have two outputs going into a low pass gate here and panned hard left and right. And the sub oscillator is once again going through the filter, but this time it's been triggered every fourth uh, beat of the sequence. If I was to take the trigger out, you could hear what it would sound like if that wasn't happening. And this just gives the effect of there being two independent oscillators when in fact it's all coming from the Apollo View oscillator. So I'm using one of the three sync inputs here. We have positive sync, negative sync and soft sync and I'm using the negative sync and the oscillator is being controlled by the acronym from Wrong Electronics so that is acting as the kind of master oscillator. And I have channel 4 of maths here being an envelope going into the volt per octave input on the oscillator so that I can get these classic sync tones. If I bring the amount up here.
and I created a kind of low bassy drone and I've frozen that into beads so it sounds like that <laughs> pretty epic sound and I've got a decent amount of reverb on here as well like to know more about the oscillator then I'll leave a link to the Apollo View website in the description or alternatively you could head over to signalsounds.com. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all later.